Hello everyone, Pazdron here. Thought I'd play something a little different for Halloween. Uh, at least for the couple of days leading up to Halloween, maybe a couple of days after, depending on how it goes. This is a game that uh, I never actually played before until uh, a few hours ago, to be honest. It is Nosferatu. I'm gonna let the cutscene in the opening start out here because it's actually really, really well done. Uh, this is an SNES game from 94, published and developed by Seda. No, no! And, uh, yeah, it's a horror-themed game, plays a lot like Prince of Persia, which has some um, ups and downs. I remember seeing this game as a kid in Nintendo Power and being like, whoa, look how cool this looks. Um, I never actually got around to playing it. I wasn't really into horror games back then, either. I don't think I really got into horror games until the first Resident Evil. I mean, I mean there weren't a lot of horror games in the Nintendo era, uh, SNES era, anyway, but... Um, I can never play Seventh Guest until much later and things like that. But, uh, so I've played the first two levels of this game. I have no idea if I'm going to be able to beat it. Um, but we're going to play it and we're going to see how far I get. This game is brutally difficult. Um, to an extreme degree. I'm actually going to be playing it on easy. Um, and the reason for that is it just it lowers the combat frustration. Um, there are a lot... Combat is really the lesser of evils in this game, I will say. We'll see as we go along here. It's got this really cool soundtrack. It's this weird mix of like 90s retro and like horror. Um, hopefully the audio is is balanced well. Hey, there's us. Yeah, we're definitely gonna put it on easy. Um, all of that changes to my knowledge is the combat, like health levels and stuff of enemies. Just makes it feasible for me to actually get somewhere. There's us. Soundtrack in this game is, is kind of wild. So we do have a time limit, um, which is scary. If the time runs out, we die. This is us. I don't actually know what our character's name is. We can punch. We actually have a, a stance we go into when we're fighting. Oh, I can duck. Uh, I can do combo moves too. Um, I can do an uppercut. If I hold down the attack button, I can do that kind of uh, bob and weave move. Uh, I have a jump kick. I have a running jump kick. I have a shoulder charge. I can slide. I can actually do quite a few things. Um, however, to say these controls are stiff, let's just say that the skeletons and the zombies aren't the only stiffs in this game. Jump on you. So something I didn't realize at first is that a lot of these treasure chests actually have more than one item in them. Uh, you can see at the bottom too, uh, those green crystals represent health. The uh, crystals that we pick up, um, like that red crystal that I picked up, is actually a power level. For every three crystals I pick up, I gain another level of power. Um, which gives me more damage and actually changes your combos if you get enough. However, the huge caveat is that... Um, a lot of things, so a blue crystal will increase my health permanently by half a bar. Um, a lot of things will remove your red crystals. Um, if you fall, you lose your red crystal. If you run into a wall, you lose your red crystal. Um, if you get knocked over by an enemy, whether it does damage or not, you lose a red crystal. Um, most things will cause you to lose those red crystals, so they're very, very tough to hold on to. But they're pretty common as well. So we got a clock here. Might be actually more items than this. Yeah, I really didn't know it at first uh, when I was doing my test playing that you could actually find multiple items in um, in the treasure chest. That actually gives a whole new dynamic to this. Every level is broken up into a number of stages. You get kind of like alternating between. Yeah, this music too. All right, because we got a slide here. I know this. I know the beginning parts of the first couple of levels. Um, most things in this game, most traps will insta kill you, if not all traps. No, go another red crystal and a green crystal.
All right, so we're back in the creepy town. Um, the game also has some um, really nasty tricks. I'll try to show off one of them here. Fighting normal enemies is not too hard. The hardest thing I found about a lot of enemies is that they, uh, they have grab moves. Um, and it's hard not to get in their range and also attack. There we go. So you see that flash means we got power up. However, where are you? I know you're here. Yeah, there you are. So this game also has a lot of traps and uh, I guess <laughs> early Super Nintendo jump scares like that guy there. He does do damage too. And I think they can knock out crystals. There's a couple of them on top. Um, there's a lot of hidden traps. Enemies can also drop crystals sometimes. So this pit will kill me. Uh, you can hold against a ledge before you jump, but if you continue to hold, then you'll step off the ledge, so. All right, so Frankenstein here, I don't actually know how to deal with him. He won't hurt you, but he'll take your crystals. Yeah, like that. Um, he'll, <laughs> he'll knock you, which is really weird, like, uh, and he shows up a lot too, and I haven't quite figured out how to handle him yet. Um, which is unfortunate because I really want to see like the, the higher level of crystal combos. I probably could have just run by him, but yeah, it's, it's a really weird thing. So if we come up here, there's actually somewhat of a secret. I wouldn't say it's a secret, but it's an alternate path you can go. And even alternate paths are not uh, very safe. I really like a lot of the stuff in this game, like the art in the, in the animation and stuff is actually pretty damn good for the Super Nintendo era. Uh, I mean, it's very Prince of Persia. I mean, it's literally the same animations as um, a lot of Prince of Persia. So I actually did get a blue crystal in there, I think. Which is good, because now we're up to four bars health. We can never lose those, even if I continue, which the Super Nintendo version uh, actually does have unlimited continues. Um, yeah, but as long as I keep continuing, I will keep that health. Now there are apparently good and bad endings. Um, some of them are difficulty based, but the difficulty... Ah, I was gonna say, I know there's a trap here somewhere. Ooh, there's a treasure chest up there. Um, the difficulty based differences are just some text at the end, I guess. But apparently there's also... Um, a good or bad ending, depending on how many times you've died. Kind of reminds me of Prince of Persia and the time limit and all that. You know, like, you could die with an overall time limit. So, I'll probably do okay in the first level or two. Uh, but I expect a lot of death later on. And we're gonna have a boss, our first boss here. So these bosses seem to always happen outside. Alright, we got some wolves coming by. What do we got here? Oh, hey, Hunchback Man. So he actually hits pretty hard. Now, as far as I know, these guys can't remove your crystals. Like, whatever crystals you have coming into boss fights, you'll keep. Which seems pretty good. Alright, he's gonna turn into a wolf man. I feel like if you got good at this combat, which I'm not sure is possible, you could really, like, master this game. Combat actually feels decent. It's a little... Again, it's, it's still stiff, but it feels okay. So I might actually do level, do I want to do level two? I'll see if I can get through level two. We got a cutscene in between here. Oh, creepy zombie man. Got a Castlevania style map. Looks like there's six stages. I'll at least start level two. We'll see if we can get through it in this episode. Ooh. Yeah, so like on hard and stuff, enemies uh, are a little more aggressive, a little harder to kill. This guy is a huge pain. Wow, I'm actually really surprised to take him out. Usually he takes like all my crystals. Oh, that was, yeah. Now unfortunately, you only have one life and then you continue. Um, when you continue, you lose all your crystals, so that's a bummer. Again, it, it probably won't come across too much uh, on the recording, but uh, these controls are 
not very uh, fluid, to say the least. Yeah, this guy is a huge pain. You can probably hear me mashing my controller. The uh, the prompts for like the jump kick are really oddly timed. There we go. That's what I wanted to the first time. So you see there's a Frankenstein up there with the treasure chest. I would like to get that. Um, also, starting in level 2, there are branching paths. I don't know if um, one path is, is better than the other or anything like that, but I do know what paths I, I've gone through. I've gone through the upper floor of level 2 successfully. So I have no crystals here, so I'm going to fight Frankenstein. Um, again, I really don't know how you're supposed to fight him. I can't figure out a way to get him to not um, knock me over. But again, he doesn't. He won't damage me. He'll just knock me over a lot. He can attack you. Um, but he just doesn't do it very often. In fact, usually if you duck, he'll try to start attacking you. I don't want to run to that wall. Alright, what do we got here? Blue crystal, nice. Green crystal, green crystal. Alright, good. Uh, I think I'll just go up. I'll, I'll go this path. I don't know if you can ever actually fully explore areas, like if you can go um, up and down. I think you can only do one path. I'm not sure though. You might, you might be able to do both. But I know there's like a broken platform, a platform that will break under your weight. Ah, that's what I was trying to avoid. I was trying to get the run to happen. Um, the run is a little finicky. It's a double tap, but it's a double tap with um, like a delay in it. Hard to explain. All right, so we got this mummy man. Mummy man is just Frankenstein with wrappings. Um, well, he seems a little easier than Frankenstein. He will also not damage you, but just knock you over a bunch. He will drop a crystal. Oh, no, he won't. I stand corrected. I feel like there's supposed to be something else in this room, but I don't know what it is. Alright. So this is like the guy in that uh, that extra room, the first level. But he won't infinitely respawn. He'll actually die here. There we go. That's what I want to do, shoulder charge. You'll probably see me do a lot of that combo, just the punch mash combo, just because it's easy to execute. I'm trying to pick up this, there we go. You can't attack while you're falling. Uh, apparently while you're hanging though, you seem to be, not, I don't know if you're invulnerable, but you're, not really susceptible to a lot of things. So there's our third crystal. If I can hold on to these, it'd be nice. Is this the boss now? No, we have another uh, exploration section. So I think these sections, the in-between sections have one path, but these sections have multiple paths. This guy will knock you into the pit also. Found that out the fun way. Uh, can I make it across there? Yeah, I can drop down. So there's a Frankenstein, unfortunately. Again, I don't know how one goes about getting through there without getting hit. Ah, all right, I gotta do a run. Slide, there we go. I just, I don't really want to fight him because I'll lose um, my other crystals. I'm sure there is a way to get past him. Just haven't figured it out yet. Ah, uh, let's go this way. Again, this has an up and a down here. If not, maybe more than that. I might even have like a third path. Alright, we got another Frankenstein there. I think this will open this gate. It does. I've got a lot of time in this level too. I haven't run out of time yet, but I'm sure it's going to happen at some point. That up there to the left uh, seems to be a trap. I think I do. I think I gotta go... Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah I remember now. So that moves these. I'm gonna let this fall. There we go. Now these doors, I think, are always side rooms. They're not like extra paths. 
Oh yeah, I don't actually know what this room is, but look at the background. You can see right above me here, there's a face. Um, there might be another one right here, and then look way above the door, there's another face in the wall. It's really creepy, it's like, it's super subtle. Um, I don't know what those are, and this also looks like there's a seam in the geometry up top. Yeah, I don't know what this room is other than really creepy. I don't know if those are like the developers, or I, I don't know. It's weird though. I think I need to go up. Ah, Frankenstein. Yeah, I really don't want to fight him. I think I have to. I wonder if I can jump over him. I feel like that's not gonna happen. Maybe I can try to stun lock him? No, he doesn't really care about that. Yeah, I don't know. But we'll find the way out here. I still have half my health, which isn't bad. Um, I think they always give you two crystals before a boss, so as long as you go into a boss fight with one crystal, you'll end up having the first level of power. Think we're going outside? Nope, not yet. Right, we got one more side path. Okay, right. This is a... Uh... A little bit of a puzzle room. So we have this switch here, though. This switch I know is a trap. Oops, and I hit it anyway. Oh, that was it. That was a weird jump. Ah, I actually didn't want to hit that other switch if I could have avoided it. So that's activated permanently now. Duck. Alright. Get over here. Duck. I don't know if that'll impale you if you're hanging, but I don't know if it'll knock you back if you're standing on the ledge. So I can, nope, oh, I wanted to jump over that. Didn't quite get the timing right. Fortunately, it'll rarely just have you go flying off an edge. All right, now I think we're going outside. Oh, no, we're not. <laughs> Boy, it shows how much I remember this area, huh? Again, I've only played this once. I've only played up through this level. I've never gotten past the next level. Or rather, I stopped because I wanted to have some of it be blind. And again, I don't know if I'm actually going to be able to beat this game, but I figure I'll at least play it for a little bit of Halloween fun time. We'll see how it goes. Also, I don't know how heavy those blocks are, but our dude must be super beefy. I gotta go this way. Now I know one of these switches I'm sure is a trap. I managed to dodge it the first time, so I was like, oh, that looks like it's probably a trap. Ah, didn't get it that time though. Oh, that was good. Just jump right on it. Yeah, I don't know. The first time I came through here, I managed to dodge that switch. Alright, so I only have one life, or one uh, health crystal here. That's kind of scary. Now this boss coming up is pretty easy, but um really don't have a lot of health. This boss is also weird. Alright, so we got these double monkeys. Uh, yeah, I don't I don't know what the deal with that is. Can't get hit again though, which is gonna be a problem. Not that these are super hard, but... Yeah. Kinda saw that coming, that's fine. Yes, so we'll continue. Now that picture has some significance too, um, but we'll see that later, maybe. At the very least, I'll, I'll show off the significance later. Now unfortunately, I'm only going to have two crystals, so I'm not going to get um, the bonus damage. But I do have full life, so I'm going to take out these weird monkeys I've had too much trouble. You can see, actually, it takes quite a bit more damage to knock off part of their health bar now that I don't have that extra level of power. Now I can actually do, yeah, like a spin kick. If I press back and attack, um, it's a little hard to, to trigger, but you can also do an uppercut. It also does a little bit of a dodge when you do it. It's actually, again, it's, it's pretty complex. It's just that mashing punch usually works 
better. We did take out one of the monkeys. Also, why there's monkeys in Dracula's castle, I don't know. I mean, they're not, you know, they're on like orangutans or something, but. There we go. Nice. Oh, that's, he did a different pose that time. Maybe because I had full health? Spooky. Alright, that will do it for now. I'll end here. I just wanted to do two levels for the first video. Just in case I can't beat any more levels. So yeah, if you're watching this before Halloween, on Halloween, after Halloween... Happy Halloween. And otherwise, I will see you soon. After I punch the zombie. Come here. Oh, that guy down there is gross. Alright, that'll do it for now. I'll see you soon.